In the heart of Sweden, where the quiet forests meet icy winds, a secret was unfolding that few in the world could even imagine. The Gripen fighter jet had already built a reputation for being an agile, affordable, and reliable aircraft. But behind closed doors, a new version, Gripen E F, was being fitted with something that could alter the very balance of global air power. It wasn't simply about aerodynamics, avionics, or weapons integration. The real secret, hidden beneath layers of coded contracts and deniable reports, was its new engine. To the casual observer, the Gripen's power plant was just another Pratt and Whitney F-414, a proven American design. But those who worked on Sweden's project whispered of something far more advanced. The Swedish engineers had modified the engine with layers of innovations that even the United States had not perfected. Some claimed they had managed to integrate adaptive cycle technology, allowing the engine to switch between high thrust and high efficiency modes in mid-flight. Others spoke of experimental alloys discovered in cold northern mines, metals that could withstand extreme temperatures without losing strength. These enhancements meant the Gripen's engine could deliver bursts of power far beyond its class while consuming less fuel, giving it endurance that defied expectation. NATO officials who observed early tests struggled to explain what they saw. The Gripen E accelerated with unusual smoothness, maintaining supersonic speeds for prolonged stretches without engaging its afterburner. To military experts, this was not just impressive, it was alarming. The costliest Western fighters, including the F-35, had yet to achieve sustained supercruise with efficiency. And yet Sweden, a country known more for neutrality than aggression, seemed to have cracked the code. Analysts dismissed it as exaggeration. But pilots who had flown the aircraft insisted something was different. It doesn't respond like a machine, one test pilot was rumored to have said. It feels alive. The true mystery lay in classified telemetry data. During test flights, sensors picked up unexplained surges of energy, momentary bursts where the engine seemed to produce output, rivaling that of twin-engine fighters. Official reports claimed the data was corrupted, but insiders knew the truth. Sweden had quietly built an engine capable of rewriting the physics of aerial warfare. Even more disturbing, whispers suggested the system contained an AI-assisted control loop, allowing the engine to predict pilot commands before they were executed, adjusting airflow and thrust with uncanny precision. In Stockholm, the Defence Ministry maintained silence, offering bland reassurances about incremental upgrades. Yet within military intelligence circles across the world, unease was spreading. Russia, already struggling with its Su-57 program, worried that Sweden's innovation threatened its regional dominance. The United States, having invested trillions into the F-35, feared being outpaced by a nation whose defense budget was a fraction of its own. And China, always alert to emerging technologies, began probing for leaks, trying to discover how Sweden had leapt ahead. The Gripen had always been underestimated, a compact, single-engine fighter, dismissed as too small to change the balance of power. But what if that single engine was no longer a limitation? What if it contained secrets capable of challenging the might of empires, in the frozen silence of Swedish skies, test flights continued. Jets climbed, twisted, and vanished into the clouds, leaving behind questions that no one dared to answer. The shocking truth was emerging. 
Sweden might no longer be a bystander in global power struggles. It might be holding the key to reshaping them forever. The world first caught hints of the truth during joint NATO exercises over the North Sea. Observers noticed Gripen E-jets flying maneuvers that seemed impossible. They accelerated from low altitude to high supersonic speeds without the thunderous roar of afterburners. They executed sharp turns and recovery patterns that defied aerodynamic limitations. Fuel calculations didn't add up. The Gripens remained airborne far longer than their tanks should have allowed. At first, NATO allies attributed this to clever piloting and efficient design. But as data poured in, doubts deepened. The telemetry revealed performance levels inconsistent with known F-414 capabilities. One classified report noted a sustained thrust-to-weight ratio anomaly, indicating the aircraft was producing nearly double the expected power output for brief intervals. This wasn't an upgrade, it was an evolution. Some engineers speculated that Sweden had secretly pioneered energy recycling systems inside the engine core. Others believed advanced ceramics and composite layers were redirecting excess heat into usable power. The most radical theory suggested a hybrid propulsion design, a fusion of conventional combustion with experimental energy storage that released bursts of thrust without burning additional fuel. None of these ideas could be confirmed, and Sweden denied everything. But the sightings spoke louder than denials. By now, whispers had spread into intelligence agencies worldwide. The Gripen's engine wasn't merely an improved machine. It seemed to blur the line between traditional propulsion and futuristic adaptation. A NATO analyst described it chillingly. It behaves like an engine that thinks. Pilots reported that the jet anticipated commands, adjusting power distribution before they moved the throttle. This implied not only cutting-edge sensors, but AI integration deep inside the propulsion system. Such technology was years away in official US programs. Yet here it was, hidden inside a Swedish fighter. The implications were staggering. A single Gripen equipped with such an engine could challenge aircraft far larger and costlier. Entire air doctrines built on overwhelming force and long-range superiority could collapse if a smaller, cheaper fighter could outlast and outmaneuver them. Russia's air defense strategies built on intercepting predictable flight profiles would be rendered useless if Gripens could extend their endurance and disappear from radar mid-flight. America's trillion-dollar investment in the F-35 risked becoming obsolete if Sweden's stealthy engine emissions proved real. Then came the most disturbing reports. Satellite tracking during Baltic exercises revealed instances where Gripen simply vanished from detection grids. It wasn't stealth shaping. The disappearance aligned precisely with unusual engine surges. Some analysts theorized that the new propulsion system suppressed heat and noise signatures so effectively that the jets became ghosts in the sky. The phrase began circulating in secret briefings the Phantom Engine. Meanwhile, Sweden remained outwardly calm, insisting the Gripen was simply cost-effective and reliable. But their silence spoke volumes. The deeper truth was never acknowledged, yet never denied. Around the globe, militaries began revising strategies. If the Gripen's engine was real, global power wasn't just shifting. It had already shifted. The West, East, and rising powers were forced to ask themselves the same haunting question. What else was Sweden hiding? By the time satellite leaks reached public forums, it was already too late to dismiss the rumors. 
Grainy footage showed Gripen jets flying longer and higher than fuel reserves should permit. Amateur radio operators intercepted strange telemetry bursts during exercises, describing them as energy spikes with no logical explanation. The legend of Sweden's mysterious engine had escaped the shadows. Inside think tanks from Washington to Moscow, frantic debates erupted. Could Sweden, a small nation with limited resources, truly have built a propulsion system decades ahead of schedule? If so, how? Some argued it was collaboration with secretive European research programs. Others speculated on hidden partnerships with private aerospace companies outside NATO oversight. The wildest theories suggested discoveries of rare superconductive materials in the Arctic, hidden away from prying eyes. Each explanation only deepened the mystery. Meanwhile, Saab engineers avoided public attention, speaking only in cryptic phrases during rare interviews. They hinted at efficiency loops, thermal recycling, and predictive adaptation, without ever explaining what these terms meant. Those who read between the lines understood one chilling fact. This was not a simple engine upgrade. It was a deliberate step into an era where fighters behaved less like machines and more like organisms, self-adjusting, self-preserving, and perhaps even self-learning. The implications rippled across geopolitics. Russia accelerated its stealth drone programs, fearing Gripens could outfly and outfight its manned jets. The United States quietly initiated new black budget propulsion research, desperate not to be outpaced by a neutral Scandinavian nation. China, always hungry for disruptive technologies, launched covert cyber campaigns to steal whatever fragments of data they could. And in every shadowy boardroom, one question echoed. Had Sweden already changed the future of war without firing a single shot? The most unsettling reports came not from engineers, but from pilots. They described flying the Gripen E slash F as unlike anything else. The engine responded before their minds caught up, shifting modes with uncanny timing. Some swore the jet protected them, redistributing power during dangerous maneuvers in ways no manual system could achieve. This was more than advanced engineering. It was symbiosis between human and machine. Was the Gripen simply a fighter jet, or the prototype of something greater? And then came the final revelation. During an unannounced exercise above the Baltic, witnesses claimed to see Gripens vanish into cloud banks, only to reappear miles away in seconds, far faster than radar or logic should allow. Skeptics dismissed it as miscalculation, but believers whispered of something unthinkable. Had Sweden mastered a form of propulsion beyond conventional thrust? Was the engine capable not just of power, but of bending the rules of detection and movement itself? Sweden offered no answers. Officials denied nothing, confirmed nothing. The world was left to speculate, to fear, to imagine. In that silence, the legend of the Gripen's engine grew larger than the machine itself. Analysts no longer debated if it was real. They debated what it meant for the future of war, diplomacy, and survival. For the first time in modern history, global superpowers were forced to admit the truth. The balance of power might not rest in Washington, Moscow, or Beijing, but in the quiet hands of a nation that had weaponized silence itself. The shocking truth behind Sweden's Gripen E slash F was no longer just about an engine. It was about the terrifying possibility that the future had already arrived and no one had been ready for it. 